Hello and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Mayer, your independent stamping up demonstrator in southwest Victoria. Now, I'm going to do a little video each day, starting from today, Monday the 7th of March 2022, in case you're watching the replay a couple of months later or years later. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showcasing the Crane of Fortune stamp set. I'm going to be focusing on this stamp set all week. And the reason for that is, is because the Crane of Fortune is my monthly stamps club this year, this week, this month. Okay, I'll find the right wording somewhere along the line for this month. And... I love it. I absolutely, I, I, look, I put off purchasing this stamp set because I thought, oh no, I can't see anything, can't see me making anything out of it. But once I saw other demonstrators using it and showcasing their um, cards they created with it, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I thought, right, that's it. And the paper also got me and I have used a bit of the paper already let me get it out and show it to you and I think I'll be buying more packs of this paper I can assure you that one here are some of them oh, I'll get rid of that little scrappy bit here's this one and that's the back of it. Now the good thing with this is the dies, the flower die, will cut that out. So there's no fussy cutting if you just wanted the flower. You can cut that out. So, and as you can see, I've cut one out. That's what I used. I cut it out there. So that's that one. There's this beautiful gold leaf one. The stalk crane, I should say, reminds me of a stalk. A crane on the back there that's beautiful. It's also beautiful wedding paper. And I've had to make a wedding card for my daughter who's off to a wedding next week, so I will show that one later after she's been attended the wedding. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Now you get two sheets of each. So there's some more. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, let me show you the back of that one. That's the crane flying. So there's the other one of that one. There's that gold leaf one. It is so gorgeous. Oh, and that's that scrappy gold, grey, smoky slate with the bit of gold through it. Oh, that was the flower one. And here are the cranes. Now, there is a die for the crane, and I haven't tried it, but I'm wondering if the crane will cut out of the paper will be able to be cut from the paper. And that's that's gorgeous too. And there's that florally one, flowery one, or that's the back of that one. And look at this gorgeous piece. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that's the back of that one. Such beautiful paper, as I said, I think I will be buying more than one packet of this paper. It is just so beautiful. Okay, so let's get on to stamping. Now I'm just making a simple little card today, a quick simple one. And what I'm using is 
crumb cake which is one of the colours that goes with this paper that's my card base oh another thing I'll let you in tell you too on the back of the um, packet of paper it tells you the paint the cardstock that goes with it so there's basic black calypso coral crumb cake evening evergreen smoky slate and soft succulent are the cardstock colors that you can create with this paper so that's quick and simple right so that's our base make sure i've got it up the right way The next piece I'm going to put on is Calypso Coral. Now, I use Tombow because I like Tombow. But and this one's just about to run out because I can feel how light it is. But you can use um, the stamp and seals tape if you, that's what you like take runner stamp and seals but me I'm a Tombow one because I can never line things up straight so Tombow's my my go-to then we have this then we have our piece of designer series paper just a little bit now there will be a project sheet for all of the cards that I will be creating and if you would like one to create this card, I will put the put my email address in the description and I will just get you to um, send me an email and I will send back the project sheet for you. So that's that. Right, now let's stamp our card. Our design so what I'm using is I'm using the large flower and I'll be putting that inking that up in Calypso Coral Now, it is sort of like a distinctive stamp. It is, but it isn't. Now, this is just a bit of scrap basic white because we're going to cut around this. But it will show you all the darkness and the um, light bits of the stamp. So that's that. I'll bring in my inside piece and we'll do all the stamping at once, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp a little bit of this flower just down here in the corner. Just as a little bit of decoration on the inside. There we go. That's why it's good to have the grid paper. And then the sentiment I'm using is from the Special Moments stamp set. Now this is a celebration stamp set that you can, I think it was $100, $100, $180. If you had a $180 order, you got this stamp set for free. And now the good thing with celebration is it's continuing on till the 16th of March here in Australia. Now, that is because of the shipping delays that we had here. So I've just picked out the happy birthday. And just popping that on there. Right, so that's all the stamping done. And what we will do is we'll pop this one into the middle of our card so we know where it is. I 
hope you are all having a had a lovely weekend. It was a bit cold down my end of the in my areas, but oh, it was all right. It wasn't that cold? At least I was able to get out in the. There was a little bit of sun, so I was able to get out there for a little bit. Okay, so that's that done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut this flower with a circle, with, with our layering circles, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so while I was over there also, I then remembered that I needed to die cut a back part to our card to our um, circle flower here. So when I said I was using the layering circles, I've just got mine in a container here, but this is the layering circles dies. And they go from tiny right up to giant. And there's both just plain circles as well as scalloped edged ones. So I've used a scalloped edged one just as the a little bit of a back background onto it. So there it is there. And you might hear my sheep. They're out the back here, right outside my window, having a good little bar. Sorry about that. But they're enjoying themselves. They're out, supposed to be out eating, eating the grass down in our backyard. And those little ones I hand read. So, yeah, they're having the time of their life by the sound of it. So, I've just joined those two together like that. So, we've just got a tiny little border. I will put this on two dimensionals. And we'll bring our card back in. Take the backs off. Put that there in the middle. And then I will bring in our brushed brass butterflies. These are in the January to June mini catalog. I'll just pop one there. That's the tiny one. And I'll, I'll just put a big one here in the middle, in the inside. So there we have a beautiful card using the Crane of Fortune stamp set. And the Symbols of Fortune Designer Series paper. Now, if you would like to participate in my monthly stamps club for March, um, just send me an email, and which will be in the description, and I will get back to you with all the details on how, how to do how to about registering for it okay thanks so much for watching today and i'll catch you hopefully tomorrow if nothing happens okay thanks so much see you later bye